Okay guys, it is now time for an overdue DVD update for May 10th, 2016. And the other day, uh, Thursday night as a matter of fact, <clears throat> I went to vintage stock and I got four DVDs. And I originally was going to film it on Thursday or Friday, but um, um, I had a lot on my mind and I was kind of stressed under a lot of stress and I had work and stuff to deal with and uh, and I just wasn't in the mood so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now got four DVDs to show you guys <clears throat> so, let's, <clears throat> so let's get this started the first one is I believe a 2004 DVD of Bad Santa with Billy Bob Thornton, Lauren Graham, John Ritter, and Bernie Mac. May they rest in peace, John Ritter and Bernie Mac. The funniest film of the year, says Jeffrey Lyons of NBC TV. Here's the spine and the back. Two thumbs up, says Ebert and Roper. Hilarious, wickedly funny. You'll laugh till it hurts, says Fox TV. And this also stars... Also stars Tony Cox, Brett Kelly, Lauren Tom, and a few others. Rated R for pervasive language, strong sexual content, and some violence, and it's 91 minutes. Here are the special features. You can just pause and read them off to yourself. Here's the disc. And I have seen this movie before, and it is hilarious. <clears throat> You want a good if you want a good Christmas comedy, this is a good one. But in all honesty, nothing beats a Christmas story. All right, next, <clears throat> next is the 2006 DVD of The Bench Warmers, with Rob Schneider, David Spade, and John Heater. From the director of Happy Gilmore and Big Daddy, who would be Dennis Dugan, get off the bench and get into the game. Here's the spine and the back. Three older dudes should be able to beat nine young jocks, right? That's kind of a rhetorical question if you ask me. <clears throat> this also stars John Lovitz, Craig Kilborn, Molly Sims, Tim Meadows, and Nick Sportson. And there's the special features. Once again, pause and read them off to yourself. Rated PG-13 for crude and suggestive humor and for language, and it's 85 minutes. <clears throat> There's the disc. And it's got an ad for other DVDs. And the bench warmers. I remember seeing this movie in theaters back in the summer of 2006. My mom took my sisters and I to see this movie, and I remember it being hilarious uh, when I saw it in theaters, and it's still hilarious now. So, if you want a good baseball comedy? I'd recommend this. One of the best baseball comedies of all time, next to The Sandlot. And next is. The what year did this DVD come out? I think it came out in 2007. 2007 DVD of How to Eat Fried Worms, based off of the classic book which I read back in elementary school. A scrumptious treat for kids says Jason Lynch of People Magazine, and on the front cover you can see all the characters from the movie and what type of worms. Uh, uh, this kid ate. This is a 2006 film, by the way. There are the special features. And the stars James Rebhorn, Kimberly Williams Paisley, and Tom Cavanaugh. Rated PG for mild bullying and some crude humor, and it's 84 minutes. <clears throat> Here's the disc. And add for other DVDs and 
um, child admission thing for Legoland, California. And How to Eat Fried Worms. Uh, it's not really based off of the book that much, but it's still a funny movie, so I'd recommend this if you guys haven't seen it. Next, and the final DVD I have is the 2005 DVD of Seed of Chucky. Seed of Chucky. With uh, Chucky, voiced by Brad Dorif, Tiffany, voiced by Jennifer Tilly, and Jennifer Tilly herself is always also in this movie, and Red Man. Time to Raise Some Hell. Depraved and Hilarious, says Harry Knowles of Ain't It Cool News. And this is the widescreen edition. Chucky's bloodiest and most twisted adventure yet. It's a wicked good time, says Michael Gingold of Fangoria. And this also stars Hannah Spirit and John Waters. And Billy Boyd is the voice of Glenn. Yeah, this is the one where Chucky and Tiffany have a child. Rated R for strong horror violence and gore, sexual content and language. And it's uh, 87 minutes. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Don't I already have this? Well, yes, I did. It was part of um, a four-film pack along with Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, and Bride of Chucky, and it also included this movie, but um, <clears throat> uh, the second disc, which had Bride of Chucky on one side and Seed of Chucky on the other, uh, Seed of Chucky, the side that had Seed of Chucky didn't work, so. And here are the bonus features. Yeah, the, the disc was severely scratched, so I had to get this copy, but this copy still works fine. And I have seen this sequel before, and it's it was not too bad. Here's the disc. Add for other DVDs. But yeah... Um, the worst Chucky movie, in my opinion, would have to be Curse of Chucky. I mean, it's, that, that sequel is only worth, worth a look watching if you're bored or something, but this was just okay. Child's Play, two, Child's Play 3 and Bride of Chucky were alright, too. The first Child's Play and the second one, uh, are classics. And that's gonna do it for this DVD update for... This overdue DVD update for May tenth, two thousand sixteen, and I will see you guys in, and I'll see you guys in more videos coming up soon in the near future.